Hi there and welcome to another calculus lesson. This time our topic is average gradient. So what is gradient? What is gradient? Well it's actually very easy. It is a measure this is loosely defined I'm sure this is not the actual definition but it's a measure of steepness okay measure just means it's a number that uh, give us a size value of steepness is how steep a certain slant is okay so let me give you a simple explanation well as simple as I can imagine okay so here we have a pair of stairs okay is that what you call it a pair of stairs oh here we've got stairs okay notice how this these stairs have a, a slope where if I were to be measuring the the width of the step and the height of the step that would be the same well more or less my, maybe my sketch doesn't show it perfectly but let's say the width of the step and the height of the step is the same okay this would be a, a steepness of one okay that would be a steepness of one let's use m for gradient so this would have a gradient of one okay now if i were to have stairs that look like this for every one step i go forward i go one two steps up in other words the distance of the width is half the distance of the height or the height is double the distance of the of the width okay so and there we go. Okay, I'm really trying to do neat steps. But here you can see if I were to connect, place a ladder maybe um, so that it touches the, the vertices of all the steps. Okay, this ladder would be steeper than that ladder, and this ladder would have a gradient of 2. Okay, and now if I were to have steps where the width is double the height okay. so in other words you can take two steps before you have to take another one step up okay. there we go and we were to put a ladder line on here okay. you would notice that this is obviously a less steep slope than both of these two okay even than one and this would be a slope of a half okay now in all of these if I go from left to right I'm heading upwards okay and that is why they are all positive numbers so when my gradient is positive then from left to right I'm heading upwards so in the reading direction my line ends up going upwards okay if however I had that my gradient was equal to negative one this would have just been the same ratio in other words the same well we'll get to the ratio in just a minute okay it would be the same steepness, steepness but downhill okay so there we can see this one would be the same steepness but downhill so one step forward two steps down one step forward two steps down one step forward two steps down and uh, of course the same with this one this would be steps going downwards in the reading direction so two steps forward one step down two step forward one step down two step forward one step down okay so this is just a loose definition of gradient but how do we actually get that value this to that half well what I hope you've noticed so far is that the gradient M is the ratio of we take the height and we compare it to the width so we take the height is the height of the step so height of step divided by the width of the step okay the height of the step divided by the width of the step so for example here we can see that the height and the width is the same so in other words whatever the height is let's say the height is x 
then the width will also be x that's why we get one here we see that the height is twice the width so in that case we got that whatever the height is if the height is or let's say with whatever the width is, is x the height is double that that's 2x and uh, that gives me therefore 2 here we can see whatever the width is okay whatever the width is the height is half of that or whatever the height is the width is double that so let's say the height is x then the width is 2x okay and that cancels to give me a half okay i think you get the idea that it is a relationship the gradient is the relationship between the height and the width now if we were to talk about a two points on the coordinate plane okay so here is one point and there is another point and I want to know what is the gradient between these two points in other words I mean I am connecting these points with a line and I want to know what is the gradient of that line then it is simple all I need to do the gradient is the height divided by the width okay so imagine this is a step there's my steps and I want to know what is the height divided by the width okay so the height divided by the width now how will I get the height well this will be a, a set of coordinates this will be x and y let's call it x1 and y1 and that will also be a set of coordinates okay let's call it x2 and y2 now in order to get the height I want to know what is the distance between the two y values in other words this is y2 and that is y1 so I would typically have I take y1 minus y2 okay that would give me this distance okay for example if this was 8 and that was 4 then I would see oh this distance between here is 4 units how do I get 4 units I say well 8 minus 4 equals four okay and now I divide and I see okay I have to divide with the width of the step now the width of the step is this distance down here this distance is the distance between x2 and x1 okay so x2 and x1 is the distance in between here would be taking the value of x this distance minus this distance Okay, so we'll take x1 minus x2. As an example, this might be 7 and that might be 3. So this distance in between here, well, maybe 7 and 3 is not perfect. Let's call it 9. Let's say that's 9 and that is 3. Then this distance in between here would be 5. Okay, why do I say 5? Because um, 9 minus, uh, not 5, oh, 6, sorry, 6. 9 minus 3 gives me 6. Okay, so for the example, I would have had my, the height of my step would have been 4, and the width of my step would be 6, and if I simplify that, I get 2 over 3. Now, what does that mean? That means for every 3 steps I take forward, okay, 1, 2, 3, I must take 2 steps up. 1, 2. That is the ratio of my uh, my slope okay so this is the formula for gradient you probably know it and and usually we say the difference between the y's which is this uh, this uh, Greek letter D okay that's Delta stands for difference between the y's divided by the difference between the x's remember difference in maths means subtract so the difference over y divided by the difference over x okay now only now am i getting to my average gradient because yes this is great but and, and and this is great for a straight line because i know in a straight line the steepness is the same everywhere okay so anywhere on this point i would be heading at the same steepness as any other point but what if i had a different line okay or a different curve i mean so here's my curve 
okay there is my curve for example and now you can see is a, at any point on here if anyone was climbing this mountain and uh, mountainous slope uh, people at different places would be standing or walking at different slopes okay so for example this first guy is heading uphill so at this point where he's standing the gradient will be positive okay this guy is almost standing straight okay so at this point his gradient will actually be zero this guy is heading downward so his gradient will actually be negative okay he's heading downhill and a person he has a as you can see at different places for example as he's getting closer to zero the steepness is becoming less and less and less okay as the guy standing here he's obviously having a difficult climb up here because it's quite steep but it's getting less steep less steep until it's zero and then it increases in steepness downwards again okay so here we see that there's a difference at every point any x value you give me if you give me that x value there I will be able to get a different gradient at this point than the x value at this point okay those two points will give me different x values uh, sorry different uh, steepnesses okay so one thing that we now can go and do and say okay let's then instead let's compare what is the average slope between these two points so this is the curve fx to find the average slope what we do is we connect the two points with a straight line and we ask ourselves what is the gradient of that straight line okay well if if i was able to now cancel all of the rest of the graph all we'll need to do is find the y value here and the y value there and use our formula okay in other words gradient is equal to y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 it, you can write it the other way around as well I mean that doesn't really not, not that way around but y2 minus y1 this is probably more familiar to most of you but guys really it is exactly the same but either one of these two um, well since they are the same would be absolutely perfect but how are we going to find y2 like we're given x1 and we're given x2 how can we find y2 and y1 well it is as easy as you might think y1 is simply equal to taking x1 and substituting it into the function so the, this function is some sort of what whatever okay it doesn't matter what this function is it really doesn't matter what that function is all you do is you substitute your x value into that function and you get the y value same for y2 this time you just substitute x2 into your function and you find y2 okay so that my formula for the average gradient the formula for average gradient changes slightly okay the average gradient of uh, no let me not say that okay the average gradient on F between x1 and x2 is then given by M is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay can you see the only thing I did with the normal gradient formula was to substitute to replace y2 with the formula that I'm going to use to get it I'm going to use f of x2 that's how I get y2 because it w isn't going to be given to you well not necessarily and the same goes for uh, y1 I think this is really simple enough that none of you uh, have any problems at this point but uh, it is very very important that you understand it so please make sure that if there's anything you didn't get rewind the video go and check it out again and I will see you in the next video where we are looking at instantaneous gradient at a point in other words 
how can we go and find this gradient that this guy is walking at at that very point and for that you need to understand both average gradient as well as limits which we discussed in the previous videos i'll see you there and i look forward to it